Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be starting off with some mowing motivation for you. So I hope this helps, especially if you find yourself struggling like I do, getting motivation to actually go out and mow your lawn. I live on three acres in Florida, and this time of year is actually a really big struggle because it's literally raining every day. And when you live on three acres and you have a push mower, it, it takes me three to four days to, to mow the entire lawn. And even then, you know, it doesn't take long at all for the grass to grow this time of year. So I feel like I'm constantly outside doing Now, this area is actually more towards the back of my property. And this area usually actually doesn't grow as fast as the front. Um, our septic tank is more in the front area. So that, it, it gets really bad up there. Um, this area, I don't think I mowed this for probably a month, and this is the end result. So really, it's it's not that bad, but it's bad enough to where, um, unfortunately, it, you can't walk down this area without, you, know, you see my rain boots, um, normal boots, because, or shoes, normal boots, normal shoes, because we get these really bad vines that have really, really big thorns on it, and unfortunately, this is the area that we have been clearing for a couple of years in order to be able to have a clear access to our well area. So I really needed to try to get that done. Like we have stumps over here and I don't normally use the push mower. I actually normally weed eat this area, but unfortunately my weed eater ran out of the line and it was actually thundering this day. So I was in a big hurry to try to get this whole thing done. Now, after I'm done mowing and getting a shower, I'm actually going to be cleaning up after the weekend. We had um, my best friend over and her husband and their dog and my husband's best friend over and his dog as well. So, I mean, the math, that's what, four dogs and and, and nine, nine people, including children, because my best friend bought her daughter over too. So, full house, guys. So, I mean, it was a fairly eventful weekend. My my husband and his best friend got a dog um, fence area up that we've actually been really needing to do for a while. Might I add, the dogs absolutely love it. I'm so excited for them. But they got the fence area busted up in maybe four or five hours, and they did really good. I'll actually hint a, a snippet of here. I mean, it's not done. You know, we still have the makeshift area that we had originally that we have to knock down. But all in all, I'm super freaking stoked about having this area, finally. Now, um, this weekend, un unfortunately, wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. While we were at my mother-in-law's house, Dobby decided to do this in our bedroom. Um, we had all the dogs in the house, and unfortunately, he was the only one that isn't crate trained, so we thought he was going to be okay in the bedroom, but we think maybe because, I don't know, maybe they were whining or something, he wanted to get to the other dogs. And he did this. He's never done anything like this before. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm upset, but it is what it is. And I mean, at this point, it just expedited and made it so that way I have to do the bedroom first. So I'm actually currently picking out paint swatches and looking at um, flooring. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, definitely not the first product I wanted to do in the house, but unfortunately... This is just kind of the way that life works, and I'm just kind of rolling with it, guys. So, uh, hopefully you'll look forward to that video. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle, it wouldn't be this difficult. If we, we try to be a negative bull, yeah, we could be taking control. Yeah. If we try to believe
try to be a negative bull, yeah. We can be taking control, yeah. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle, it wouldn't be this difficult. If we, we try to be a negative bull, yeah. We can be taking control, yeah. Negative bull, yeah. We can be taking control, yeah. Negative bull, yeah. We can be taking control, yeah. You think you're royalty You think that I'm afraid But I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I'll fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away The storm is coming So you better start running Have you ever had one of those days where just nothing went right, like you touched it and it broke and you just got so aggravated that you walked away? Well, um, unfortunately, I think it was Thursday, um, I was making my husband coffee, you know, because, you know, before he goes to work, coffee to go, you know, my loving wife making you some coffee. And, you know, I put the collagen in it, I put the sugar in it, and I was about to ready to get the milk frother to go in it to mix everything up. And... I smacked the handle on the Tervis cup and it literally just spilt everywhere. I'm talking in front of the dishwasher, in front of the cabinets, in the cabinets, which I didn't know about until hours later. So I just threw a towel on it because, you know, I was done for the day. It was underneath the, it was underneath the, the coffee maker. It was in the clean dishes. I was so fed up. I literally walked away 
because I wanted to cry. So this is me going back and just finally cleaning it up because I literally just could not adult or do anything that day. I was it, it, it got stuck. It was disgusting. It was gross. But you know what? I got it cleaned up. Different day. Different. <laughs> just, well, I, I don't even know, guys. Look, I told you I was a hot mess. And I wasn't kidding. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. This is who I am. And you know what? I'm cleaning it up. And that's all that matters. It's not perfection. It is progress. I've been getting out of bed these past few days. Think it's fair to be proud about it. I've quit ordering from all those fast food chains. I'm feeling better, there's no doubt about it. And my days are brighter, my shoulders are so much lighter. Just for a moment there, I thought that there was nothing more to life. I thought about it, wrote a couple songs about it. Just for a moment there, I lost myself. Mind if I do it for a minute, it's almost like everything I feel had a limit. It now gone past me, finding reasons to smile and to laugh and whenever it's a bad day.
childish and packed it is all around When you were pushing me away I should have tried to give you space and get out of your way How did I not see this coming? You need them one day Now this is a quick overview of the living room. It wasn't horrendously bad. I really needed to vacuum, but unfortunately I couldn't do a vacuum this day because it did started did started raining. It started raining. My goodness, English. Um, it started raining, so I couldn't actually let the dogs outside, and they hate the vacuum. Like, they will bite it, they will attack it, they will run from it. It is utter chaos in the house if they're inside when I'm vacuuming. So I try to keep them separated from that if possible. Look at the beta I got. I went to Orlando, like, I think it was last weekend, and I saw this little dude, and we haven't had a beta in the house in a really long time, and I thought he was beautiful, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to save you. You were coming home with me. I miss fish so bad. Like, we are eventually going to get our salt water tank, hopefully, back up, and yeah, I, I know, it look, long laundry list of things that we need to do, but I am hopeful that we will get them done eventually. <laughs> Take down and emotions feel like I never did before Live shows in the spoken real saw the movie I ignored Blue sky sound of broken sea and I'm stuck up on the shore I never thought you could see me
Now, I actually have a question. Where do you guys actually fold your laundry? The majority of the time I find myself folding the laundry in the kitchen just because it's easier on my back because I have the really high bar area. So I fold it and then I literally just throw everything back in the laundry basket and then I put it all away. Where do you do your laundry? So fragile, like it was built to break off the handle. How'd we get to this place? We leave it, everything behind for new and exciting feelings. But I won't leave you with everything we know, be lost and changed. Something new Only time will tell But I'll be holding you Thinking about tomorrow 